Hello, good morning to all of you. We are again here with 10 minute lecture on interpersonal awareness. Now one of the important uh, interpersonal awareness technique is Johari window. We will be explaining how Johari window and interpersonal awareness are related with one another. Uh, let us see what Johari window is. Uh, this is uh, in fact Johari window is an analysis of self awareness how aware a person is about himself how much he knows himself the greater he knows himself the greater he is in a position to communicate with others and greater he is a efficiently a, uh, organized into the group efficiently the greater the person is aware of himself the greater he is in a position to link with others coordinate with others make a good team so uh, if we increase our self awareness this is a process of to increase our self awareness the interpersonal relationship are composed of inter self self and others that means self is a core personality pattern which provides integration the dyad relationship can be studied properly if a person can perceive his own behavioral style at the same time how it is perceived by others. Self-awareness is a cognitive concept. It describes the self in terms of image both conscious and unconscious. Joseph Luft and ha ha Henry Inningham have developed a diagram to look at one's personality including behavior and attitude that can be known and unknown to self and known and unknown to others the name of this diagram has been given johari window based on the names of the two expert joseph and henry uh, and uh, joseph johari window comprises of four quadrants as in show as they are shown in the diagram first quadrant is called open open means information known to self and information known to others who are in contact with that person then we have blind self information known to others but information not known to self hidden self the information which is known to self but he is reluctant to give this information to others unknown self information not known to self information not known to others nobody knows that part of that individual now this uh, are the four quadrants of johari window let us see more into more details of these quadrants first part is open self open quadrant refers to the behavior feeling and motivation of an in individual which are known to self and also known to others in specific organizational settings some individuals are straightforward and open and share everything with one another he himself is very clear about what he is doing what he is feeling and what his motivations are similarly others are also very clear about his actions feeling and motivations in such type of interpersonal relationship chance of conflict if any will be very little then we have according to joseph and Hingham, the greater the first quadrant the better the person is better he will be in a position to coordinate with others he uh, better he will be in communicating with others he would be a better self a better person now second quadrant that is the blind self blind self quadrant is unknown to the self but known to the others other people know what is happening to the person but he himself is unaware of it very often such blind behavior is copied by individual from certain significant people unconsciously right since the childhood since such a behavior is copied unconsciously people may not be aware of it any uh, another reason for this uh, unawareness is that other peoples are not willing to be open and do not give relevant feedback to the person concerned. Even if there is verbal and non-verbal response in the system, the individual may not be in a position to perceive it. There are chances of interpersonal conflict in this situation. So uh, blind self means he, is, he, he does not know uh, himself about certain characteristics of himself, where, who, which the others know, 
how can he overcome this how can he decrease this window this window can be decreased by greater feedback the more feedback he receives from the surroundings the uh, uh, the smaller will be the blind window so uh, jongward uh, observed that subtle bars to our personal effectiveness are often our blind quadrants we may speak in certain way with a tone of voice a look at face uh, that we are blind to but other people are actually aware of it in fact our manner can affect how they perceive us and they believe they can interact with us uh, so this is about the blind self then we have about the hidden self the hidden self is a quadrant which is not known to self but not known to other this is very private and personal window because only the person concerned knows about what is happening the individual is aware about the hidden self but does not want others uh, to sh- know their h- this information people learn to hide their feelings and ideas right from the childhood other people in the systems are unable to, to perceive the verbal and the non verbal behavior of the person in this quadrant like blind self chances of interpersonal conflict are there in this situation now uh, the person uh, uh, should talk more and more express m- more and more do more and more interaction uh, have uh, trust in other person the more he will have trust on other person the more he will uh, exhibit his hidden self to him now this is how we can overcome this quadrant unknown self quadrant is unknown to the self and unknown to others unknown self is mysterious in nature sometimes feelings and motivation go so deep that no one including the person concerned knows about them in uh, fudian psychology this would be called as subconscious or unconscious self many times only small portion of motivation is clearly visible or conscious to oneself people experience unknown part of life in dreams or deep root fears or compulsions in such situation there is much ma- misunderstanding so interpersonal conflict is almost sure to result in such a situation now analysis of self awareness uh, changes in uh, awareness the awareness about the self is not static rather it keeps on changing continuously as awareness changes the quadru- quadrant to which the psychological state is assigned also change they change in the size jongo word has a, a, a identified 11 principle of such change a change in any one quadrant will affect the other quadrant it takes energy to hide or deny or be blind to behavior which is involved in interaction threat tends to decrease the awareness a mutual trust tend to increase the awareness uh, that means he would uh, the blind window will increase if there is trust forced awareness is undesirable and usually ineffective uh, interpersonal learning means a change has taken place so that the quadrant one is large and one more or other quadrant has gone smaller the larger is the first quadrant the more effective the person is uh, that we have already stated uh, the more he is in group behavior the more effective he is in coordinating with the team and more effective he is in all the concerns of his life the effective he is an effective communicator as well working with others is facilitated by the large enough area of free activity in the first quadrant it means more of the resources and skill of the person involved can be applied to the task at hand the smaller is the first quadrant the poor is the communication there is universal curiosity about the unknown area but this is held in check by custom social training and diverse fears sensitivity means appreciating the covert aspect of the behavior in quadrant 2 3 and for uh, respecting the desire of others to keep them so learning about the group processes as they are being experienced helps to increase awareness for the group as a whole as well as for the individual members that means uh, the learning processes or the group processes tr- helps in enlarging the quadrant one and helps a man to become more effective Uh, that means increase his self awareness and in, uh, make his interpersonal behavior better the value system of the group uh, and its members may be observed in the way the group deals with the unknown in the life of the group itself 
this is all about